Modeling is a, a process of building up um, and the important thing is, is just to keep moving it round, adding bits slowly where you feel they needed to be added. I love the early stage, the pressure and the problems occur later. This is called La Belle Touche. It's something new. I used to use plasticine on sculptures and use that for years, but uh, this has got more of a waxy feel to it and it, I like working in clay best of all and it's closer to clay. Uh, obviously you need to warm it up, so that's why it's sitting on a hot water bottle. Just going to cut that bit off. I'm uh, just getting a rough idea of scale. Um, most horses are square in that the withers to the ground are the same length as from the front to the back. Actually going to split them up now. Check out the inside. I try not to attach too much importance to one area. Um, because you can get too involved and, and not see the piece as a whole. But uh, if something does look awkward, like at the moment this leg is looking very awkward, then I might might concentrate on it probably too much. I don't come into the studio every morning with an objective. Um, I will just carry on looking at it seeing something that I think is wrong or altering something that doesn't quite work, adding bits where it looks a bit thin and, and getting it to a state where I feel comfortable with. I think uh, this has taken me probably six weeks to two months had I worked on, on this and only this, but I have had other commissions and other work on the go. You work a sculpture and, 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 until you feel that you've said all you want to say and I'm getting very close to that stage with this sculpture. I, li I like the circular movement with the horses heads crossing and um, the intimacy between them, the fact that they're scratching each other. Looking out for any lumps and bumps that shouldn't be there. Uh, in preparation, I intend to get it cast next week um, and I don't want any incidental forms taking over from shapes that should be there. I've been using the Livingston Art Founders for many years. First they make a rubber mould from my original clay model. The preparation process eventually ends with the final mould that is supported by plaster and canvas layers around its bulk. The molten bronze is poured in and allowed to cool to create the finished sculpture. Most of my pieces are in editions of nine. I think this piece has come out well. I hope other people will like it too. We will see if it attracts interest.